Okay, this is our third video and we are still recapping some things we discussed in lecture. Uh, at this point we're looking again at the axioms and the rules that make up or semantics. So our first one is the axiom of assignment. This is the only axiom in this logical system. And what this does is give us a way to generate a valid or triple for an assignment statement given its post condition. And from the post condition we can generate the precondition. Right? So if we have some assignment x set equal to, to e, we ask ourselves what is true at this point in the code and what is true afterwards. And in this case we say there's some property p we expect to hold or want to hold afterwards. And so what has to be true before this assignment to make this hold? Right. At this, if we think about this a little bit, whatever property P is, it says something about X. And this property about X that's going to hold after the assignment should hold before the assignment about the expression E instead of the variable X. And so the way we note this is to say we take the property P and indicate that E is to replace the variable X in that property. Right. So the way we read this is P in which E replaces X. All right, so we've done this exercise. If you didn't uh, complete it, you might think about this at this point. Hit pause and see if you can uh, see how this or triple can be generated from the axiom of assignment and noticing that p here is a is equal to 6 and if we replace the variable a with the expression in that assignment we get exactly the precondition. So what's happening here is given a post condition we can use this axiom to generate a precondition. The precondition that we are generating is called the weakest precondition. And what that means is that we are not making a, a strong statement. We're generating a precondition that says the least amount of, of information that's needed to make this a valid or a triple. All right, the composition rule. All right, so this is where we're putting together statements in sequential order. Right, so sequential composition. So here we think of having some statement S1 and a statement S2 and what we uh, expect or want to happen is that R holds at the end after both have completed and we're asking you know what is P uh, P is our precondition here that is going to be true before so we're saying if P is true we execute S1 and then S2 when we're done R is going to be true and so the question then is what is Q that holds in the middle here and so this sort of outline in the text here is represented in the composition rule in the slide. Right, so the preconditions or the things above the bar that we need to prove are a statement about S1 and a statement or a whore triple about S2. So if we would like to generate this whore triple below the bar, we can do that if we are given these whore triples above the bar. Right? So one way to think about these rules is that to generate the whore triple below the bar, we must have the whore triples above the bar. Right? So we can read this as sort of a implication or an if-then statement. It says if we can prove the things above the bar, this rule then tells us that the thing below the bar is correct. All right, and so here's another exercise to do to try and figure out, well, what is Q going to be that fits in between these two assignment statements? And so what we want to do here is take that post condition A equals 6, and we can use the axiom of assignment to generate the Q that must be true between these and then use that Q as the post condition for the first assignment. Alright, so we've now seen 
uh, our axiom and the rule for composition. The next one is the conditional rule. And we'll pause here and pick this up in the next video.